I was talking to my grandma about doing this video and usually I would be nothing but excited to be doing this. But I expressed to her concerns about doing something that seemed kind of so like silly um, at this moment in time for our country and in the world. And she said, first of all, if you feel that way, say it. Um, so I'm telling you, it does feel a little frivolous right now and I'm not sure how many of you really care about what moisturizer I use. But as a follow-up to that, she said, you know, the little things that bring you joy and decompressing at the end of the day and getting ready for bed at night, doing my routine, doing something for self-care, there's no shame in those things. It made me think to myself, she was right, and that activism and self-care do not have to be mutually exclusive. So I hope you guys are out there fighting the good fight, but I also hope that you are taking care of yourself. So I am going to walk you through my first steps. I will start with my Shiseido Extra Creamy Cleansing Foam. This stuff is fabulous. I've had it for about, I don't know, a year and a half, and you, you just use it so sparingly that it lasts forever. I've been using a lot more sunblock. I use this Shiseido water-based stuff from the oil. I have oily skin, so the oil-based stuff is really no good for me. I get just like greasy, gunky. So I like to get all that off really well at the end of the day. You're just gonna use just lukewarm, kind of tepid water, right? And then, when I tell you just a little bit, and this stuff is wonderful because because even as a makeup remover, it's all, it's all you need. Like you don't need to use an oil or cleansing wipes. It's kind of a one-stop shop and I love that about it. So I use, I use like, sorry, I put it on my face before I showed you, but just a little bit. Okay, so this seems like a very simple step, but I actually just watched Joanna Vargas, who is my facialist in New York. I watched her do a live on how to properly cleanse your skin and it was riveting. I realized I'd been doing a few things wrong. So you're just gonna get anywhere your makeup goes. So behind your ears, up under your chin, in your nose. She said she sees a lot of women with just like little bumps up in their hairline and behind their ears because they don't properly wash back there. And then you're gonna wash it off. It's simple. This is like, you know, she got into the science of it, but this is just this is just face washing for dummies that I'm giving you. See, I feel like if you don't properly get all the the face wash off behind your ears and stuff and in your forehead, then you're like defeating the purpose because you still have gunk. Then I'm just gonna pat dry. Oh, but not too dry because my next step, I need a little bit of um, moisture for it. Next up, and this is my Joanna Vargas exfoliating mask. This stuff is like gold and I mean it. And it's also like gold because it's just like, can you see it's like, it's like shimmery, shiny, golden. I love it, I love it. Maybe that's the pineapple enzyme in it. It's grainy. I like one that you can feel working and I really feel like this works. Now, just like face wash, you, you gotta like get up in there, but because this one really is kind of grainy, you cannot just go to town and scrub your face off. It's not the way to do it. And then I'm gonna wash it off. When I tell you that your skin feels like velvet after that step, that is what you want when you exfoliate. You wanna be like, feel my skin, feel my skin, because it's just like so smooth, so soft. I'm gonna dry my face off, and the next step is a pretty new step. I don't know when this exploded. Maybe I was just late to the party, but vitamin C serum is like all the rage now, and I see why. I also use Joanna Vargas's vitamin C serum. Um, it's really, really lightweight. I know a lot of people, I, myself included, don't like, really like oily product. Just for like evening skin tone and radiance boosting. It smells good, feels good. Look, did you see it? It's like, <sighs> she's so good. Next step, it is my Sunday Riley Good Jeans all-in-one lactic acid. I read about this when I was looking for new things to add to my routine. Usually if something says instantly plumps the look of fine lines, I'm like, yeah, whatever. But I notice it just right up here in my nasolabial folds. They're starting to 
in a good way. Use like one and a half pumps. Smells kind of like lemongrass. I'm just gonna rub this stuff on. Feels so cool. And it's, it feels rich, it really does, but you're even supposed to put on moisturizer after this. No breakouts, no issues, no nothing, just glowing skin. You see the, the way the light hits the, the T-zone? We don't like that on camera, but right now when we're getting ready for bed and we know in the morning that means smooth, supple skin, we want that shiny T-zone. My next step, and I'm gonna call it the most important step. I don't know that to be true, but I imagine that it is. This is my desert island pick. I love all of these products, but if I had to pick just one to use on my face above all the others, it would be this SK2 RNA Power Radical New Age Moisture. Um, I love it. I've been using it for probably four years or so. It's the only moisturizer I use. It's good for winter and summer. I never break out, I never feel greasy. It feels rich, but goes in easily. I use it in the morning, I use it at night. I use it during the day. I use it before I put makeup on as primer. I use it so much that I am very close to running out. And just, oh God, it's so good. Down my neck. I am like the least delicate person I know. I, th I see some women do these and they're like, oh, they're so like soft and gentle. I have huge six foot tall person hands. So I just, I just put the stuff on, right? It's just me, I don't have to be cute. Next step, eye cream. My Shiseido wrinkle smoothing eye cream, this little guy, I love him. I just put it down under my eyes, just tap it on because although I like my crow's feet, I'd like to keep them exactly where they are. Just right there, we don't need to start. But that will happen and that will be fine when that happens. Anyway, eye cream. And that brings me to my last bits. I'm gonna just skip over a few of these things because I'm really excited about the final, final step. So obviously, I brush my teeth, I use this Rembrandt, I've been using this for years and years. I mean, like my mom used to put it in my uh, my Christmas stocking when I was a teenager. So it's just a whitening toothpaste. I think it really works. I also, another drugstore purchase, Crest White Strips. These things are great. I don't see any reason to go to a cosmetic dentist for whitening because these are so good and they're like a fraction of the cost. My last step though, I literally got what I'm gonna show you from my mom, but I also got this, um, this step from my mother. She has practiced acupuncture for, I don't know, the last 40 years or something. So I grew up with her doing acupuncture on my brother and I, which is just like not for any specific ailment, but just because it was so fun to get stuck. But she's recently started doing a few points in her face. So boom, right here and right here for kind of eye-opening rejuvenation around the eye area, and also right here at the top of the nasolabial fold, so just your laugh lines. So what you're gonna do, kind of for the, for the eye area, you're gonna find a point, like there's one right up in your brow. And don't be scared because these needles are, they're not even needles, they're so, so teeny tiny. This just needles is a misnomer. And some of these have little tubes that you can tap, tap, tap to help put in. So I'm just gonna use my finger as the tube to hold it in. I'm gonna do right there. I'm sorry guys if you're squirmish, but I promise you this doesn't hurt a bit. And I'm just gonna tap. I'm gonna angle it down a little and just tap it. And then you'll know after you tap, you start, I don't know if you can see this, you twist it and you know when an acupuncture needle is working, really it's, it's opening you up and releasing energy. So you start to feel, it's not like a prick, but you do feel like something is moving under your skin. And that means this needle is doing what it's supposed to. Should we do the big reveal? Should we see if it's in? She's in, it worked. So you do it there and on this side, and then you're gonna do one right under the tip of your nose, just where it intersects with your smile line. And you're gonna stay for 15 minutes, not moving, not talking, and that's it. 
that's my routine. I'm gonna sign off now and let my needle do what it does and have a glass of wine overlooking the mountains. Um, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this. Be well, peace to you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. All love.